We were invited to Ghana in 2008 by an associate of Professor uh, Gregory Vandervink. Uh, when we were driving through Ashamlan, we realized immediately that this was an, this was an uh, in-need location. And so we decided to actually stop and look around and see what we could do. Uh, we found our way to the EP school, which is well regarded here in Ashamlan. And uh, we hit it off well with the administration and uh, got in contact with them about what they would need. The school has a long-term plan to build a library, uh, to build a new school block, to build a canteen, but those have been on the books for decades now, and our involvement actually meant that the library will get done now. So this summer our project had three components. Uh, the first component was bringing in lots and lots and lots of books. And uh, we did that successfully after a little bit of hassle at the, uh, at the port. Uh, and we've set up a temporary library here which will be in use during the school year until the uh, main facility is complete. Here is the temporary library. It was built to house the books while the library is under construction. You can come in. Um, we've sorted the books according to age level. So here we have early readers, lower primary, upper primary, young adults, adults and non-fiction. And soon we'll add a shelf for reference and the extra lower primary books. The second component of the project is actually building part of the library. Uh, this summer we only have about five weeks for construction, which is not enough time to put up the entire building. However, we should be able to finish the reinforced concrete substructure. Uh, the third component is to evaluate netbooks and uh, to evaluate the kind of structure we can use uh, for the digital literacy component of the project. We also had to communicate with the leaders of the community, the teachers, the parents, so that they know that the library is for them and not just for us, that we're not giving money for them, that they need to take ownership of the library. One of my favorite things has been watching this construction and seeing how they build things and seeing things getting done. Um, it's, a, it's exciting, especially when uh, building in a way in the, in, the, in the states for an engineer is a little bit more of an abstract thing where you put it on a drawing and then it goes away and you see every once in a while that they're working on it. Here you see every bucket of concrete, every rebar, every piece of formwork get built. So, um, I, I think one of my favorite things is that. that after you know a year a year and a half worth of work um, we're actually physically putting up the library structure um, after you know being with the kids for nearly two months um, and seeing how voraciously they read when given the temporary library just now um, I'm really excited about when we can actually open the uh, Achieving Greater Heights Community Library. So my expectations were were to have an adventure, I guess, and it, that's what it has been so far. This is what being an engineer is about. It's about helping people, making things easier and better for them. <laughs>